I'm just going to film it. Okay, we're just, fine. We're just going to start. All right, guys. Whatever. We're talking about a class of knives that maybe... Mm, maybe well, we're making it into a class. We're making this into a class. Yeah, this is budget... High-end. High-end knives. Yes. So that sounds a little, um, well... Contradictory? Contradictory, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we think it exists, especially <laughs> these days in the last few years we're talking. Heck yeah. In a lot of the, the Chinese production knives, you uh -huh. can get a lot of knife for not so much money. Exactly. Um, originally when I was thinking of this, we were talking about it, we were saying price ranges would like be what? 50 to 100. 50 to 100, okay. So I got it right here. This was my original inspiration mm -hmm. for the $100 price mark. All right, this is the Wii Knives 617. Yeah, you're getting a lot of knife for 100 bucks. I called it budget impersonating high end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because well, doesn't this knife really just feel? Yes. And, and Sound. Yeah, it has all the action, all the characteristics of one of their high end mm -hmm. uh, premium knives. But just using a little bit more budget friendly um, materials. materials. Yeah. Yeah, D2 and G10 in this case. Mm -hmm. All right. I think you're still getting a titanium clip on that. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. Can, well, and a backspacer. Yeah, so we're talking $100 on this one. This is kind of the top end. Um, and guys, you know, there's there's several other models of these that yeah. if we had them, they would be here. They'd okay. be in the same category. What's the low end of that? Originally, I was kind of thinking, you know, $50. Here's the Best Tech Kendo. Yeah, it's not like 50 something. 52. Okay. I think. This is a lot of knife for the money. Yeah, it is. What is the steel on this one? Is it D2? Yeah. You D2. know how I love my D2. Yeah. Frankie and her D2. Mm -hmm. Okay. 52 bucks. All right. But what what does it take to classify in this? Mm -hmm. You were asking, you know, does a does a does a spider co grip kill um yeah. <laughs> spider co grip killian. <laughs> spider co delica. delica and a bench made griptilian. All right. Do those classify? Because you can get those under a hundred. Yeah, but well, then we were thinking, kind of, these are more like utilitarian, and not that these aren't. And you know, FRN, so they're kind of like cheaper looking. These cheaper guys feeling. look a lot more. There's no classy. real. There's no real action to speak of on those. On a lot of these flipper knives or, yeah, or thumb I can't stud use or a button lock. On these. Yeah, they've got. They've got an action to speak of to talk about. The, the action on a Delica sucks. Yeah, right? it does. It I works. Mean, like, you have to roll it out, which is really annoying. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? You have to do this, like, one-handed, like, put it away thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not so much a one-handed knife. I don't know. For us, we're calling, um, you know, uh, uh, the high-end side of things kind yeah. of eliminates a lot of the spider codes yeah. and bench maids, okay? But what else, okay? So here's a honey badger. Honey badger. You can uh, you can hear that Shelly, she's yeah. got a lot to say about this. She is a big fan of the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger, though. Mm -hmm. This, it's on bearings, it's ultra smooth. It is. Okay. But Frankie... It's plastic and 8CR13 MOV. I wasn't even saying that, but yeah, okay, so it's it's the GFN, FRN. So, 8CR13 MOV, I know. that kind of rules it out, doesn't it? It does. I think so. Let's get rid of him. I don't mind 8CR13 MOV. But not like, it's but not high-end. Does it qualify for this budget high-end <laughs> class? Probably right. not. So what are we talking here? Um, how about the crossbones? CRKT crossbones. crossbones and jumbones. Okay. This one's 95. That one's, what, 60 or 70? 68 or something like somewhere that. Somewhere in there. I would yeah. say 69. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Aus 8. Yeah, that's completely the... 8CR13 MOV of like a yesteryear. <laughs> kind of is. It's really the same thing. Does that does that rule them out though? Maybe? I don't yeah, know. It's maybe. a maybe. They're, they're such awesome knives though. I know. Um, well, and then they, they did the new version and it's like, how much is it? Two something? Oh, well, the, that, there's an M390 version. Yes, yeah, but still, yeah. I mean, like, just do something in between. So it's like a good steal, but then... I think there's a lot of people that would <gasps> agree with you, okay? 120 yeah. bucks. Do something for 120. Check it out, Frankie. The action on this one is back. It is. <laughs> <laughs> we did a torture test on this action a little bit ago. This is the Genzo FH11. This is the 440C, which we've tested and other people mm -hmm. have tested. It's legit. No, that's D2. Yeah, that one's D2. It's China D2, okay? <laughs> Shout out to those guys. Yes. All right. Um, you can get these for what, 20 something? I would say that Less it's than 30. not a high end 
knife. It kind of is, though. No, it's not. <laughs> it's kind of a high no. clipper. I would leave it in, but... I would say no. I don't know if we're eliminating or, or whatnot or if we're getting rid of stuff, but... If we're going to play that game, I would get rid of all of the D2s. All of the D2? Yes. No. Okay, see, D2's got the characteristic that everybody loves. I know. It's a edge working retention. man's steel. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's edge retention. Okay, yeah. But what other steels, though? Um, what does... What's this knife, Frankie? It's a hoot, nanny. What's the steel on this one? I think it's 8CR. No, it's... I want to say it's 8CR. No, it's K300KPX. No. Is that the model number? <laughs> I think it's a cheaper blade steel. I could be wrong, though. Okay. I don't know. But that would be a high-end knife on the it CRKT. It has such crazy tingy action. It's got, it's got awesome action. Yeah, I don't know. But what are we talking about here, Frankie? All the Civivi knives. Yes. I think we just got one or two. This is the Praxis. All right. Kind of the same thing that I was saying on this knife. Budget impersonating uh -huh. high-end. All the Civivi knives are kind of like that. Yeah, they for sure are. Super smudgy on that one. Yeah, yeah but forty-two fifty on those. That's a good deal. Yeah, I would say all of the Civivi well, knives. Well, and the gold makes it super high-end, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. It's uh, real gold. You would have thought, and some people initially said that it's gas station tacky. I don't think so at all. I think especially, some here we go. Some people like gas station tacky. Just here we go. Saying. That one there. Black and gold. This is the other Civivi. This uh -huh. is the Naja. All right, that's got my edge on there. Crazy. Yeah, what else? Vanguard. Oh, yeah, the Vanguards. So, Kaiser, here's the Roach. This thing's awesome. This thing's kind of up here with, with this uh, 617. Yeah, but it's, it has that same, like, fit and finish feel. Yeah, it does. It's awesome. It's the Degnan Roach. I want to say these are, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks somewhere It ranges in there. depending on when you're buying it. That's absolutely a high-end knife. Mm -hmm. For well under a hundred dollars. And don't forget your big, big lighter. Big lighter. Big yeah. lighter. Um, they were fifty-two for a while. I think the price has gone up. I think they're still around. I think I blame you for 60. that. Sixty, maybe so. For I'll the take, hype. I'll take some of the blame actually, since we got it out. There Gotta go. flip it and then hand it to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Safety first. That's my edge on there. By the way, should we talk a little bit more about steels? Okay. What? is the best budget steel. Yeah, what do you guys think? We're this... going to put a poll out there. Okay, we'll put a poll, an actual yeah, poll. You got to click. It's right here. You got to click on the little eye right up here. here. Yeah. All right, this is BG10. BG10 shines up extremely nice. Yeah, look it, at that it, mirror. It gets um, relatively good scores for edge retention. I've never had a problem with mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah, VG10. What else? D2, obviously. Of course. That's going to be the winner on the edge retention, but is it all around the best budget steel? Yeah. These days, it, it's it's high up there. Um, what else? What about the, the Kudo 440C? Yeah, Tangram uses that a lot. Yep. Okay, we'll put that in there. Um, what about the Swedish steel, Frankie? Uh, 14C28N. Yes, is the Swedish steel, yeah. Is that one it? Maybe. Yeah. I'm thinking... Uh, is this? I thought that was 12C. No. It is 14. It's 14. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, 14 I'm C always right. N. Okay, I would say no to that. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys who just, you know, bends over. and. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> but I'm not one of those guys. Reach around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like, yeah, you're right. Your wife's always right. I'll tell you when you're wrong. <laughs> I'll tell you when you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what else, though? Blade steels. Yeah, 14 C28 N. Actually, Kershaw's. So you can get some American-made Kershaws. What is that steel? This is the knockout. It doesn't stay. I think it's 14 so C28 in. I think it's 8 CR. <laughs> I think it's 14 C28 in. What does the bare knuckle have? Um, I think the same. 8 CR? No. <laughs> no. These are Those are all American knives. Well, then knives. post it on the blade. Yeah, they should. I agree. I'm just saying. Yeah, this is an American Kershaw, the bare knuckle. I think it's 14 C28 in. What's another budget deal? Can you get 154 CM for these prices? We're talking the better non-powdered steels, guys. You can get an S35 VN. This is a Kubi. Mm-hmm. Kubi, Kubi, Kubi. So in some cases, this, you know, Verdict's still out on this brand. It's 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 new to us, but mm -hmm. this Kubi knife is S35 VN. This one is $99. It's titanium, it's bearings, it's frame lock. Good action. Yeah, $99. It would be at the high end of what we're talking here. True, yeah. Okay. How does it compare to the Wii? Which ones haven't we talked about? Best Techs. So Best Tech, this is the Paladin. All right. Excellent knives on these. They use the Swedish Steels or the D2. D2. Okay. Yeah, these are, um, I want to say, half the price of the 617. Like 52? Yeah, somewhere around 50, 50-some. 50 okay. 
Oh, talk about a killer deal that you can get sometimes. What does it usually retail for? Like forty some people, bucks. Some people got these during their Christmas deal for like thirteen. Thirteen dollars. It was thirteen fifty. I Insane. think is what it was. Yeah, we're talking the Tangram Vector. This is probably the premium and the standout of the Tangram line. Yeah. They're usually the most expensive ones. I want to say they're at least 40-something, mid-40s. Yeah, 40s. something like that. Almost 50, but not quite. This is a button lock, guys. Button lock, aluminum scales. Aluminum, button lock, thumb studs. Ting. Awesome. It's an awesome knife. Yeah, those are, even if you're paying the high price, you're paying less than 50, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is that one? That's the Metamorph on the real steel. Yeah, yeah. the Metamorph. Oh, and don't forget the QSP. That's another brand, QSP, so it seems like... EG10. Right. Carbon fiber. That's 75? Yeah, so, so I like this knife a lot. So if we're leaving out some of the, let's call it a lot of the 20-something dollar knives, the 30-something dollar knives, if we're leaving out a lot of those, um, a lot of you out there collect those, mm -hmm. and you collect a lot of those, okay? Yeah. Um, we understand, to, in order to have more, more knives... Mm -hmm. I, we kind of went through that phase too. We, we have we that spent some problem time. where we have a lot of knives. <laughs> yeah, just the prices go up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we started there too. When you want some of these higher end knives, you can absolutely get a higher end knife. In our opinion and many other YouTube mm -hmm. reviewers' opinions, you can get these higher end yeah. knives for still less than $100. You just got to, you know, save your money, mm -hmm. um, not buy two or three more yeah, knives. Yeah, don't you know? buy 10 of the Walmart knives. Well, <laughs> Walmart knives, those are just... Those, those are, are classics. You those have are to get a collector. Very entry level. Very entry level. They're but they're collectors. decent. They're decent. <laughs> yeah, that's a different subject though. I know. Uh, this is the Well, and we didn't include it like Kaiser. the steel wheels out there either because I don't think they make it. Well, because they're kind of in the same class as like the Endura or the Delica. FRN. Kind of. Maybe the actions are are lacking a little well, bit. Well, and they're just more of like a mm, basic user. Most of these knives, if not all of them, there's a spring assisted, but that's the only spring assisted in here. Yeah. All right. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not the Delicas, but all of these knives have awesome actions. Yeah. You know, here, get the Delicas out of there anyway. That's an Endura. Name yeah. your knife. Sorry, right. Spyderco. Spyderco. Yeah. What have we not talked about? I don't know. And these are just examples. We have a lot more that can't, I mean, the table would be littered with knives. Well, and we would bring in it. like the Spider Co's that are. You know, the carbon fiber handles and scales and stuff like that, too. But, but the price goes up. Yeah, they jump up in price. What can you get a Sage 1 for? This is the only one I could kind of think of as, like, a more high-end Spyderco. Yeah, but it's a high-end version of a yeah, of the basic right. Dragonfly, which the Dragonfly is very much just a utilitarian yeah, knife. It is, yeah. It's not so much, I don't know, I, I think there's a certain classiness to some of these knives. They you know have I mean? certain style and... Not that this isn't a good knife. It is. Je ne sais quoi. Oh, did you just say that? <laughs> I don't Je ne even, sais quoi. I don't we don't even know what it means. <laughs> yeah. All right. What language is it? Um, French. I would probably guess French as well. I would think well. French, yeah. but I have right. no idea what it means. No. Um, I'm sure we forgot some knives that we have in our collection that should be on here, mm -hmm. but you get the idea. Um, post in comments too. Well, make sure to vote on the, on the best blade steel for budget. But... Let us know what knives qualify, what knives don't. Yeah, what do you guys think? Have is a little like the discussion. Best, yes, I, like I want to see it. Fifty to a hundred dollar range or so. Do you think that our kind of rules for this are, are good? You know, you kick out some of the eight CRs. Yeah. You don't go above a hundred for this class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what we're talking. So in the future, when we say budget high end, we're kind of you know in yeah. this area. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you. I think that's it. I get rid of the D twos. She if you had to choose one out of this whole group... Oh, shoot. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm going to play that game. Real quick. This is the Stedeman BP-02 or something like that. Okay. I think it's a Swedish steel. Yeah, it's 440C. 440C. Okay. All right. This one, last I checked, was something like $30, $32. It's got a great action. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. If you had to choose one of these knives that oh, you could only have the 50 to to $100 range, what would you choose? For the rest of my life? Yes, for the rest of your life. Shoot, I don't know. It's going to be between this one, this one. Uh, I don't know. No, you have to choose. I almost have to take a break. Do you have a, do you have one in mind? I have one in mind. This one. The Kershaws are hard to beat. Um, gosh, I don't know. Let's yep. narrow it down to three each and then decide. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's cut to that then. Okay. 
All right, off camera real quick. Frankie tried to change the rules. I didn't change. I was no. specifying. No, listen. You get one knife in this cat in this scenario. You get one knife for the rest of your life. That's it. Okay? No, see, I thought it was one knife in this category, and then we get to have no. the one in the other category, and, no. and then the other category. Not multiple categories. One knife <gasps> in this scenario. This is stupid. That's it. Then. It's like the desert island for knives kind this of thing. This is not my game. All right. Um, I narrowed it down to five. Frankie narrowed it down to five. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm probably not going to go with D2, <laughs> even though this is coded. Well, if you were on a desert island. It's, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're actually, we're actually just true. here. We're actually just here in the Midwest. <laughs> okay, the Kendo's tempting. The Bare Knuckle's tempting. I don't want it near salt water. The Kaiser. I love this knife. Mm -hmm. I'm going to probably get rid of... I'll get rid of the kendo just because sharpening a tanto will get annoying. No, oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. The bare knuckle, the praxis. I don't have enough use with the 9CR18, which I think qualifies. Yeah. I think qualifies that extra carbon and extra. Yeah. It's a little bit more uh, rust resistant. Go ahead, though. What? I'm going to get rid of mine? Bring it down to three anyway. <sighs> okay. Thumbs up for those of you that stuck around this far. Thank you. We'll very get much. rid of the OS8 because it is. OS8? Steel of the yesteryear. Okay, no more crossbones. Awesome knife, though. And then we got the Kudu 440C. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What else do you think? I don't know. It's tough to... Uh... I do really like this knife. It's just really smooth. There's part of me that thinks that I would get tired of the two-tone blade. <laughs> which That's is funny. That's what you're going to go with? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Shoot, I don't know. It's really tough for me in these three. Hmm. Get rid of one more. If I have to choose one, oh man, I, I think know. I'd get tired of the button lock. Button lock, okay, sure. Well, by the same, by the same reasoning, that's a front flipper. Well, I was thinking that it'd be cool to be able to have this along with my other category. But you don't get any other categories, so <sighs> does so it stick I would around be or like not? a professional front flipper. You would, yeah. You'd whip that thing out and like do your cutting, and all the guys would be like, "Whoa, whoa, look yeah. at her!" By the way, ladies. Um, Guys are really impressed when you whip out a knife and yeah. you know do your cutting and then put it back and stuff. It's it's cool, it's cool. Um, so no, or that's what you're choosing. Go ahead and get rid of him. Okay, yeah. What you just? What I have something. Well, you're doing something off camera. What are you doing? Well, this is. Let's you're talking. You were talking about whipping it out and showing people. <laughs> impress people with your huge Impre knife. Impress the ladies. <laughs> you carried this one today. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Well, this video's getting too long, though. Oh, my gosh. He's dirty. I was cutting a plum up with him. I don't know. VG10, D2, 14C28N. What is the steel of the Hootenanny? You don't know? I think it's 8CR. Uh, okay. If it's 8CR, you have to go away. You're going with a knife that yeah. nobody's heard of. I know. It's weird. All right. I'm going to go with the bare knuckle. I don't know. It's got everything I like. It's aluminum. It's fairly lightweight. What oh, do I want to change? You, you're going with a QSP Mamba. You're going to have to work on your uh, deployment. Yeah, shut up. You were right. supposed to, this is the newest one. The He's Metamorph. We got this one from Indiana Knives. Shout out to Indiana Knives. Yeah, this one's better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what we're going with. This one's worked in better. Kershaw Bare Knuckle from 2018 and the Metamorph, which is a few years old. I yeah. love him. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for sticking around this far, and <laughs> thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.